Hi, Josh Keegan here. I'm at the Fraser Coast Drone Expo and Innovation. What Showcase. It? Showcase. <laughs> Expo and Innovation Showcase. Yep. I'm here with Corey from Idea Source Malaysia. Hey. And he's going to show me through some of the drones he's got available today. So what do you, what do you got here? What's this one? Well, this is our uh, spray machine. So it's a uh, 40 litre spray tank uh, on a, a Griffin airframe, but we've done a lot of the software and the, the, the sort of the spine back here, background behind that. Um, we are able to spray, uh, go over a, a surveyed um, paddock or, or crop, yep. and then understand what particular areas of the crop needs what, and then yep. precision spray what we need, It'd be a fungicide or fertilizer or wow. anything like that. Okay. To, um, so, so the farmer isn't completely blanket spraying a whole, a whole, um, a whole area, yep. saving some money, Instead of spending $100,000 on fertilizer, he's only spending twelve, fifteen thousand dollars on fertilizer. All right. So, okay. Yeah. yeah okay. So money. more targeted um, spraying and targeted spraying. spraying. Okay. Yeah. So what's the um, capacity of this one? So this is a forty liter tank. Forty liter tank. And yeah. what's the overall endurance for this? Uh, we can get usually get two sprays out of it. So about 20, 22, 23 minutes. So we can usually get it to come back. Yep. Re, re, reload and yep. then go straight back out again before we have to change batteries. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's all right. That's not. That's that's not, pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, and what's these underneath here? I noticed these, um, the, are these like gimbals? Yep. No, pull oh. them out. Just be oh. careful, they, they <laughs> do get a bit bitey around the servos. All right, so these, these are our IDS uh, servo-driven gimbals. Uh, the one that you've got, Josh, is, a, uh, is our 300. Uh, that particular gimbal weighs 500 grams, but it has a oh, payload right. capacity of five kilos. So, wow. yeah, it's considerable. Yeah. So if you're looking at, um, Having a, a larger a larger payload on board and not sacrificing your flight time, this is uh, something you should be looking at. Yep. Um, the best part about this is it comes straight out of the box. You plug it in. Yep. There's no need to tune it, balance it, or anything like that. It's all done. So it, oh, has, wow. it comes with its own um, sort of flight controller itself. Yep. And okay. we can use it to um, keep the camera steady. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah. This Excellent. particular one can carry more than one sensor as well. So if you want to go and two two birds with the price of one. You go and do uh, yeah. two flights. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, well, thank you for that. All right. All right. And what are the, um, with the rotors here, what are they actually made of? The, the there's a carbon fiber. The carbon fiber, yep. yep. All right, and there's obviously it's an um, octocopter. Yeah, this is an octocopter X, uh, X8 that we call them. Yep. And um, yeah, just extra stability. Uh, not so much extra flight time, but just better stability in flight. Okay, so so what did you, um, IDS, decide to come up to the Fraser Coast drone? Well, I think it's an excellent opportunity. Yep. Um, this is uh, going to be an area that you know, they're very passionate about what they want to do with technology, yep. um, especially with the, um, the the money being spent in the local government here, especially the way they've, the way they've recently employed their own chief pilot to have yep. a strategy together to see what they can do yep. about it. Okay. Um, yeah, there's the, 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 uh, there's, it's limitless what they can do up oh, here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so excellent. really interested in supporting it. Yeah, all right. Well, thanks very much for your time there, Corey. No problem, um, Josh. Great to having a chat, and I'll keep moving on. <laughs>